Hi, I'm Charlene Habermeyer of Good Parenting Brighter Children, and this is Tidbits of Wisdom for Parents. Today I want to talk about how healthy snacks produce healthy brains, and healthy brains and healthy snacks also help your immune system. Now this is something you should be interested in because as your children go back to school and as they're in school, they're around all of those other students and unless they have a healthy immune system they can that fights off colds and flus, they're gonna get sick. And you wanna keep your kids healthy so they don't miss anything in school. So we're gonna talk about some snacks that will do just that. They will keep them healthy and they will increase their immune system. The first one that I wanna talk about is blueberries. Blueberries are extremely high in antioxidants. They're also antibacterial, antiviral, and the best thing about blueberries is they're considered a memory-producing fruit. In other words, they increase our memory. And who doesn't want that? And you want your children's memories to be increased in school so that they can learn the information. So a snack of between a half cup and a cup of blueberries each day will really help that. Now the beauty is, is that there are so many fruits nowadays that are being grown in hothouses throughout the country that just about the entire year you can get blueberries. And the other thing is, is that if you can't get blueberries in the area that you live, you can also get frozen blueberries. It doesn't take away from any of the nourishment and the need and the memory producing and the antioxidants, things that blueberries produce. So you can get those as well. Another amazing snack is coconut. Now you're probably thinking, how can I feed my kids coconut? Well, you can feed them the flaked coconut, although that's very high in sugar, or you can go and actually get a coconut and you can with a sledgehammer. I remember my dad using a sledgehammer and opening it up. You've got the coconut milk and you've got the meat of the coconut that they can snack on. There's also, I know, different types of cookies. You can look on and see there's natural forms of cookies that actually use coconut in them. As I've talked about before, coconut is very high in fat and our brains are 90% fat. So I've written a blog on the importance of fat for the brain and how it builds the brain, and coconut is one way. It does build the brain. Now another thing about coconut is it too is an antiviral and an antibacterial. And as you know, coals are viruses, and so you go to the doctor and there's nothing that they can give you. But you can feed your child uh, coconuts and that will help. Now, if, you don't want to, if they don't want to eat the, the meat of the coconut, you can also cook with coconut oil. You can make it with their scrambled eggs. You can put it on top of a salad. There are many different ways of getting it into your child's system. The lauric acid, which is a medium chain fatty acid in the coconut, that is the one that really boosts our immune system. The next two are dates and raisins, and the reason that I clump them together is they are known as nature's candy. If you have sugar issues or if your child has sugar issues, you want to steer clear of raisins and dates because they are high in sugar. But they're also high in uh, different minerals and vitamins. Dates are very high in magnesium. Uh, which is the calming uh, mineral, which helps to calm things down with you and your child. Raisins are very high in iron, and you want your child to have iron because iron is associated with energy. It's the good kind of energy. It's not the type of sugar energy that lasts at a really high peak and then they drop to a low. It is sustained energy that will help them with that. But it also has potassium and calcium as well. Kiwi is another amazing snack food for your children. It has more vitamin C, there are more, there's more vitamin C in kiwi than there is in an orange. In fact, they have a scale and it has the highest amount of vi vitamin C than any other fruit. It also is high in magnesium, which will help a child who is under stress to, to calm down. And it's one of the most nutrient-dense foods that is there on the market. Now, another thing about kiwi is that little brown furry fruit with a green inside. All right, so the EWG, which is the Environmental Working Group, they've actually looked at when they spray all the pesticides on fruits and vegetables, they have found that kiwi has the least amount of um, pesticides on them. When you break that furry little part, that furry little skin of the kiwi actually protects it. So even if they do spray it, for some reason it doesn't get into the, the fruit part that the child will eat and that you will eat. Now, I would have thought bananas would have that because bananas have a very 
very thick skin. But believe it or not, that is a more porous skin than that furry little kiwi fruit. So you can feel safe that your child is not e eating a bunch of pesticides when they have kiwi. Another thing is get all kinds of vegetables like carrots and celery, and you can get uh, like broccoli and cauliflower and even pea pods. Give them a dressing that has fat in it, like Hidden Valley dressing. It would have mayonnaise in it. Make your own dressings, and you can really control what you have. And have your child dip their vegetables into it so they're getting both the fat and then they're getting all the phytochemicals um, with all of the vegetables they eat as well. <clears throat> In terms of nuts and seeds, almonds are extremely good for a child to eat. They're high in calcium. They will help build strong bones. They also curb the appetite. So they're, they're good for a child who is struggling with weight to take because they will curb their appetite. Uh, seeds are excellent. Pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, they're all high in vitamins and nutrients. So that gives you some um, ideas of some healthy snacks instead of these sugary snacks when your kids come home from school. Let them ha have your cupboards and your refrigerator filled with all kinds of healthy things that they can eat um, throughout the day. Let me leave you with this quote. It's by J.K. Rawlings from Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. The fridge had been emptied of all Dudley's favorite things, fizzy drinks and cakes, chocolate bars and burgers, and filled instead with vegetables and fruits and all the sorts of things that Uncle Vernon called rabbit food. It's an amazing thing about rabbit food. It's that, those types of food that actually keep us healthy and strong and keep our immune systems high. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you tomorrow.